Hello everybody, welcome to another game of NAF Ladder. The place to be. Up against Coach Morg, the the runner of the league, Glorious. He's got a leader thrower, tackle blitzer, sidestep catcher, sneaky git catcher, one mighty blow, only three guards. So the good thing is only three guards. <laughs> Very good, Dewey. I got Necro. I'm trying to learn how to play Necro. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not really sure. Stay in front and try and get a wolf hit every, every turn, I guess. Enough opponent fell asleep. Well, Teams come after the stunnies. We don't know Captain Melons, but um, Kalon wrote the order of teams. And I don't know if he was correct in the order of teams. Correct. But. There are ogres and snotlings in the box. But surely they can't be doing those next. And then there was corn at some point, Norse at some point. <laughs> Zons. It was Zons, Vamps, and then uh, Gnomes, right? And then the most recent one that isn't even out yet is Chorfs. And then there's to come is High Elves and Two Kings. Oh shit, I just realised. Wait, September till October till November till December, right? So this three month season like the next season will start just after the World Cup how weird is that so it'll be like December will be say Olga's well they might do corn or Norse or whatever it's going to be like basically it's only one month away from being a full Like maybe it's a year. Where well, they get four four teams a year, don't they? Four teams a year. So end of twenty twenty six. Could be done. So it's not that bad actually, is it? Oh, no, no, I said call. I don't know which is first. I don't know what the order is. I went Ogres, Snotlings. They're in, they're in the box, right? Ogres and Snotlings are in the box. But surely they won't do them next. After, um... Oh, I really want to put it in. Can he, can he just... He can go there. first, shouldn't I? Ok, 
Okay, so just a bit of a line. Got two claw hits. But he's getting mighty blowed back, which isn't great, is it? Well, I guess he spends his blitz over there. That's kind of okay, in a way. No, the, the trailer for the Goblins and Flings said a season like no other, so I imagine they're not going to... They might They might do... They might, they might pair, like, Ogres and Sotlings, right? Um, that seems like a natural pairing. But I don't think they do it straight after Halflings and Goblins. Um... Shut up, Tom. Get numb. Um, yeah, Zinch and Sanish. Well, the thing is, like, Nurgle are weird, right, in, in Blood Bowl, because they've always been in right from the very start, right? Before Warhammer was so much of a thing, and Blood Bowl was more of its own thing, then um, they had... They just had the Nurgle Rot as, as a team. So it's pretty weird. Like, Blood Bowl's pretty weird when it comes to the uh, thing. But then, they, you know, Sinai decided corn should be a thing. So Games Workshop copied them, I guess. He's gonna go in there. And he's gonna punch him. Good. Guard can come around the back. And GFI around the back. Then I have two assists for him to blitz in. Which would be very good. Because these guards are making the walls not really able to hit very well. Because I can hit this way, can't I? Into negative assist, but two positives. So you could go there, and then I could do something. I, I quite like blitzing. No, I can't blitz him because he's already based. Shit. I blitz him, then he can block up that way. I guess just do this hit. What does he do? He runs over here. Oh god. Anyway, he could GFI into here and then he's hitting him with loads of assists and then he sidesteps. Yeah, okay, so this is. This GFI is really good. Two rerolls gone. Oh. Two in all one. I could 
foul him with the two assists, that doesn't seem very good. This is pretty messy, isn't it? <laughs> pretty messy, but pretty decent. Yeah, I hope not. Like, if you've got to make... <laughs> Insert a high L, no. Hello, Mog, no, no. It's... I can't do it. I mean, the, the guards were good. The guards, the guards being placed as they were stopped everything, didn't they? And, uh, no, the real-time mode is, uh, is interesting because you've just got to make it like a proper game, right? If they just made it a proper game, like Backbreaker or whatever, right? And then just made that with Blood Bowl IP, it would be good. I don't know if Backbreaker is a good game or not, but you know, that would be the idea, right? Just make, make a, make a football game that has the Blood Bowl IP, but trying to mash it from the tabletop version into like a half arse one is not going to be not going to be good. Yeah, not not a mode in Blood Bowl 3, not good. But as a standalone game from the start where that's all they focused on, could have been good. This double GFI, I think it has to be. Outrageous. Hello, Demento. rerolls is pretty much the only way to build this team I think because uh, you get the points and there's not much else to spend it on basically um, you know humans are pretty cheap oh shit it's very annoying but it does mean these guys are free which is good Pretty much demanded a push there and got it. Yeah, push a power even. Right. This blitz was appalling, wasn't it? Power him. Good enough. Removed. <laughs> Kaz myself. 
Oh, yes. Thanks, Chrissy B. Yeah. Coach Morg has just sent out a call for team moderators to help out in the knife ladder. Because, you know, there's already, like, over 200 people in there. And, uh, you know, he's going to need to start help. Start getting help to uh, accept all the teams and everything. Make sure that everybody who's p attempting to play is following the rules. do nothing get two dice powered back instantly tragedy Oh, instant full pow. Keeping to removal. I just can't stop getting removed as Necro. I just can't. I wish I knew what the secret was. No, I don't know if you've noticed, every time they get fucking touched, they die. Dance is the best player in the game. And, uh, gutters are up there, aren't they? Gutters are very good. But dancers are the best. Right, I've got a double GFI in. Instant one. Do I just stand him and dodge the others? I guess so. Okay, good. Good, that's good, isn't it? There's a bit of a screen. He's in a bit of a pickle, not too much of a one, but at least he's in a little bit of a pickle. It's hard being down players all the time. But, um... This is something, at least. At least a little bit difficult for him. I think.
the half cocked Gears of War car. I mean, Gears of War was very popular, wasn't it? Instant power. Good. You can be my wingman anytime. Hello, Pete. Bullshit. Ta 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 ta. Be, be Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can't help myself, so I can't. How are you today? <laughs> I'm enjoying, once again, watching my Necro get torn to shreds. Good. It's got no players, like, I don't know what I can do. Three down. Just happens every drive. I just get, I just get destroyed. BB two cupcats. Oh my god! People people play Blood Bowl two still. Oh no! You mean the era BB, dear? Or do you mean do you mean era BB? Or do you mean the actual Champions Cup? Yeah, era BB. I knew people still played that a little bit, yeah. This is like the last season on BB2, isn't it? And then it's going to be BB3. <laughs> the renewed mods with BB3. Fucking hope not, Captain Melons. <laughs> I fucking hope not. Oh, God, this foul. Four players down, good. I think sign Oh, there's a hit on the ball then, isn't there? I mean... Uppling for a push isn't so good, but I can dodge everybody through. In fact, if I dodge the Wraith through, then I've got a guard on it. And now, we can have a... We can add a ghoul to the list of... Uh, <laughs> list of KO players. <laughs> Not KO, but did fail, obviously. I wanted to, you know, see what happened if he got powered or not before I moved this guy up, like maybe double GFI'd. Instant power. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All this done. Full power? Oh, it's a tackler anyway. Yeah, that was way too easy, wasn't it? If 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 he'd been cast, I could have tried the uphill to like you know make the dodges through, not be quiet, which would have been quite good. That's a bold statement, Captain Mellons. That's a very bold statement. That's a very, very, very bold statement. Some might just say, you know, incorrect, but um, I'd say bold. <laughs> Indeed, Keith. Now all I need is for uh, Cyanide to see that and think, oh, let's make him a VIP. And uh, then the whole of Blood Bowl can benefit from my reform. Yeah, one. One step at a time. It's going to take a while to, uh, you know, regular streaming, pump out the YouTubes. I've just started. I've just started on my path. But I think I am fully reformed. It's just, in terms of attitude, it's just the rest of it. Right? A tree D. <laughs> a poor little zombo. Has he got a GFI? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, I could have tried to chain him back. He had a play next to him, didn't he? I could have just probably tried to chain him back a square. Should have definitely just double GFI'd. Outrageous. Outrageous handoff there. Oh man, the dance. Oh, I've got emotes blocked. <laughs> Glorious. The GFI's were definitely. Definitely million percent correct there, right? Because they're both three percent fails. It's like two three percent fails, whereas the handoff is an eleven percent fail. So I've got my I've got my uh, I've got my new piece of paper, and it's shit because that's why it was shit. That's why it was well incorrect. It's not even shit. It's just, it's just obviously incorrect. Right? Double GFI is better. I guess nobody can die in a handoff. So in progression. The handoff has got the fact that nobody can die going for it. So there is there is a plus to the handoff. Obviously it gives you a longer touchdown dance as well, which is great. When you're not, you know. But if this was for a million pounds, you do the double GFI, right? But um, it's not. So handing off and doing a longer dance is completely fine. <laughs> GFW reruns. Yeah, I can do more GFW fights, right? In between... 
in between games and stuff, you know, like if there's time to fill. Yeah, the flings, I'm pretty sure, don't get deep root, which is terrible. And I'm all, I also heard they haven't got a uh, rumble or either. But they've got like uh What's it, fucking Kara or whatever? And they've got Griff, haven't they? So they've got... They've got two of their stars. But yeah, Cindy's the big one. And, uh, but, you know, the thing is, dwarves get Cindy, right? More than... Uh, <laughs> more than anything else. So he goes push push, then he that gives him a three D push to there. She doesn't need to be there for. Me. And he fills in there. He blocks to there. And then this one comes up there, and then he blocks in the last square, and then he blitzes through on one of these. Yeah, by far, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. With double GFIs, it's by far. It's better just with one GFI, but with two GFIs it's better by far, yeah. Got the first push. Got the second push. 3D. I should have got the ball to him, but I got excited. Well, shit. Another tree do. Do I just put him to there? I guess it doesn't really matter where I put him to, does it? I'll put him to here anyway. Yeah. Power deal type thing. Okay. Could I have got it to my double GFI? No, I couldn't have. That's an interference. Well, fuck me, eh? been like a power or pushes or whatever and would have got it and that was better than like dodging through the back line right
thanks. <laughs> Um, yes, you can subscribe, Captain Nines. Yeah, that is the one. That is the one. Yes, Keith, thanks. And it's September. There you go. It's September. Well, it was a good. It was a good how-to, wasn't it? Anyway, wasn't it? I guess it that, that's you know. Unfortunately, he didn't put. He didn't put his sneaky kit catcher on or his half link. <laughs> and then I got rid of two D through. I guess it was better for me to take the push because if I'd rolled the pow and removed him, he would have been. Uh, he wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to chain him. Maybe I don't know. I think I probably should have powered that other guy. Up. I mean, getting the pushes was lucky. So it was obviously it seemed unlucky doing it at the end, but getting there was pretty lucky. Yeah, the pass was incredible, wasn't it? <laughs> the pass being like a 5 plus is insane, actually, isn't it? It's crazy how they've nerfed passing. I hate it. I absolutely hate how much they've nerfed passing. Quick snap. Don't need it. choice a blockless block she just moved in there he's gone Well, the thing is, I wanted to like maybe move them to there, move this guy to there. But I guess I should just move them first. Anyway. Oh god, it's in the end zone. Have to re-roll the pickup. Good. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, second half, right? Like instant. That's perfect. Perfect apple timing is first turn of a half, but especially the second half because if you haven't taken a, you know, an early kill on the first half or a chasm in the first half, then an apple on a chasm in the second half is just useless. So, uh, yeah, that's the ideal time. This is pretty good, anyway, isn't it? Got the zombie, the zombie screening the good players, and then 
and the good players ready to threaten surfs and stuff. Obviously not this guy because he sidestepped it. What can you do? I don't know, Captain Mullins, I was just born this way. I didn't know it was a sexy voice until I, until I was playing, until I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, when some, uh, some dude called Kuna Puna started saying how amazing my voice was. <laughs> there you go. Well, yep, the one... I said that the zombies were screening my good players, and the one good player they weren't, um, he got nailed. Obviously, this guy had guards, that was in 3D. A 3D, but that was disappointing, wasn't it? I've got to stand in Chun's column here. Maybe even on the sideline. It was a wonderful friendship, yeah. Well, that was just like, I just thought, oh, that's funny, isn't it? It was a beautiful friendship. He was really good at Call of Duty, by the way. He was really, 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 really good at Call of Duty. And uh, he would get like 40 kills every game. So we always, we always teamed up with him. And uh, he would always dominate. And then whilst going, Oh, Jimmy EMP voice. <laughs> and just constantly going about my voice. And I'd never... Nobody had ever mentioned my voice ever until until then. Good. Oh god, I haven't got a cage corner here. Well, I guess I'll do this first. Power's good, gives us an extra hit. Don't uphill the ogre. I don't really want him to come crashing into my cage. But then if I dodge, then I can... Uh, I've got a sidestepper in the way, which is pretty good, isn't it? Good. I've got nine. He's got ten. Old and tired. I mean, I I am old and tired now. <laughs> yeah. What a freaking dice! Who says that? Excitement. Excitement of goblins and halflings. If I could customise an entire halfling team with cheerleader skins, it would be amazing. It really would. That would be the best thing ever. Ah, uh, another one in there. Really game? Okay. 
Okay. This is uh, rough, isn't it? I've got no players. Just got a one day's uh, ogre. Okay, power's good. KO is brilliant. Follow, I think. Huh? Do I want to follow? Not really. <laughs> okay, so it's ten v ten. No, I'm on nine. Nine v nine. Okay. Okay. Necros are weird, right? Because four of your players want to be hit, and you want four you want four players to never be hit, and you want four players to be well not be hit rather than not hit. But if anyone's getting hit, it's those four. But it's just not easy to uh, to do. Because obviously your opponent is trying to hit your walls and your ghouls at every opportunity. And here he is, hitting one wolf with mighty blow and the other wolf as well, so he's hitting both wolves. Stunned. It's rough, I'm just not... I'm not good enough at Necro yet. Done. But the weird thing is, like when they're down players, it's worse because your good players have to get exposed. But when they're up players, it's amazing because now your opponent just has to give up core hits. They're, they seem a really swingy team to me. A very swingy team indeed. But you know, maybe I just think that people are bad. Blitz, I think he I think I just have to potato now. Oh removal pretty good. <laughs> Where do I go though? His tackler. Where's his tackle? Oh, it might as well. Good. His tackler's not hitting me. He can just 2D him, then he can 2D him, and then he's he can come around to hit. So I have to stop him somehow, which I guess is just putting 
came on there. But I still got to keep him there. That double wall stone was brutal. I guess I'm going to try and trust in my defence a bit now. Fumble is pretty weird, yeah. Why is because uh, it's a niche of a niche of a niche of a niche, isn't it? I didn't want to, I just completely forgot Super G. <laughs> I totally could have punched him. I was Brain fire. I'm pretty tired. I'm not playing well. Oh my god, he's going for the tackle hit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I did not think that he would even attempt that. I'll just pick it up on the wraith. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, because you don't, you're not chatting, are you? And they've got to chat. It's all about the chatting. It's all about the chatting. Oh, good. Casual quads. <laughs> and then, of course, this zombie could have gone there, and then I could have 2D'd him and cleared him off, and then he could have got up and scored. But yeah, I should have stood him up first. And actually, he should have just moved over here as well, right? So there you go. Safe moves first. But pretty tired. Quad skulls happen, don't they? And those tiny moves, you know, he could, he could do a mistake next turn or whatever or roll just as bad and I could have had a standing wolf and standing fleshy of course the fleshy could have also just been killed by a mighty blow ogre hit so it is what it is I don't know Pavlos I think mine are uh, <laughs> mine are historically well it's terrible it's the, it's the thing it's perception bias right that's the thing the thing the thing with the dice is the way I've always looked at it is, if you you know if you need a two plus to win every game, then your opponent needs a six plus to win every game. Obviously, simplifying it a lot here, and then you roll three ones and three sixes. Well, then 
you've both been the exact same amount of lucky, right? Except you've lost three games you should have won, and he's won three games he should have lost, right? So now he just looks really lucky because he's won 50% instead of 16, and you look really unlucky because you've won 50 instead of 84. Nah, Pablo's no. Nah. There's been some things, you know, it's just it's just random, isn't it? It's just random. Like obviously my touchdown versus Dimmy was very lucky. Some of the games in uh Super League have been alright. Some weren't though. Like, you know, as, as much as I uh I won Super League, the season I won Super League, um I played uh I played Strider who massacred my orcs with his wood elves <laughs> so you know um swings and roundabouts i guess oh that's outrageous the last dice roll. yeah see like this wolf would have been here and like okay it would have still been tagged but it would have been helped a bit wouldn't it oh, we're still up. Oh, this sucks, doesn't it? Fail. <laughs> BP isn't. How have you said these two sentences, Captain Mullins? I guess that, you know, giving your username is a bit trolly. I get that you're a troll. But saying it's 90% skill and then it's more skill based than chess. <laughs> But, I mean, <laughs> if you really believe it, then the politest way I can describe you is, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> because, <laughs> because Magnus Carlsen wins more than 90% of his games, doesn't he? Blood Bowl, the highest win rate anybody gets is about 80%. Which would imply, you know, upwards of 30% luck. Because while the best player may lose games... I know, I did it... I did it on purpose, Steve, because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I'm still allowed to make jokes. I'm still allowed to make impolite jokes. I'm still allowed. Um, because... You know, so if it's like, if the best players win 80%, right, then that what that means is sometimes when they win, they would have won, like, you know, they won because of the dice, even though they would have won anyway, right? They're still winning games because of the, they're still getting the games won because of the dice. It's still the same, right? Like, you know what I mean? If 15% if, if are losses, no matter how well you play, then that also means 15% are wins no matter how badly you play, right? So, so that is that. And there you go. So let's say 30% at least is a... Uh, Hmm. 
we say 30% is luck, then, um, then chess clearly isn't 30% luck, is it? Because Magnus Carlsen wins all the time versus Grandmasters. He wins all the time. Wins all the time. Is that a pal? No. Good. A four percent win difference, I think. I think it's fifty-two forty-eight. But of course, they like they do best of like they do best of seventeen and stuff, don't they? Best of twenty-four and all this kind of stuff to make to make sure. That, you know, yeah. Without in or beats. Sure, Captain Melons, but <laughs> you can't say that and say it's more skill based than chess, right? <laughs> it's one or the other. No, it can be, of course, strategy, of course, it's subjective, but you can't make the statement that it's there's less luck th than chess, <laughs> and then say the reason I think it's better is because there's more luck involved. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can say. It, yeah, yeah, fifty-two is four percent different, though, isn't it? Which is which is quite a lot, right? Or it's like, or it's like. Um, you know, I don't know, 12% or something. Right. Let's see if we power here. No. Well, fuck me, I guess. See if, I, see if my wolf catches it. No. Injured. Uh. Ah, fuck. The problem is... If I 1D power him, I get two players. But this guy's based, isn't he? So I could 1D and then have to power him. He can punch him that way. That's probably what I've got to do, isn't it? Chain push. Just didn't have the players. Did Could get some removal second half, but uh, was enough. GG. Coach Mark. Man, I've got to learn how to play Necro. Play. I'm gonna keep with these Necro. I'm gonna keep playing these Necro. Practice no more tonight though. I mean I to be fair I was tired tonight. I didn't expect to play well, so um, Yep, GG. Um thanks for watching everyone. Well played. I mean you know it's not again not like I am not saying I played terribly and that's why I lost. I still think I played better than most people. <laughs> but but those little things add up, don't they? So there you go. Right, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.